What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm actually showing off my old cube box from Aaron Kane. Aaron Kane custom deck box. It's made of a nice, beautiful cocoa bolo. The wood, the wood color is fantastic. And I was actually considering selling this because I just got a new one from Aaron Kane. But lid comes off. It has some pretty sweet magnets on the end there. It's got his little engraving there for his initials. It's a really nice box. Very satisfying clothes. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, Michael was actually going to pick it up for me. Or from me, rather, because he has, like, a bunch of commander decks. They could probably hold about six commander decks in there, so. Either way, what are we drafting here? <coughs> it's been a while since I've just taken a Zealous Conscripts or a Coalition Relic. Let's take Coalition Relic. What kind of cube is my cube? My cube is a modified vintage cube. <clears throat> I'm going to take Coalition Relic. Oh, a library? Second pick library? I like a library. I think library is pretty good. A lot of people don't. But I do. So I'm going to take it. I'll put it over here. Oh, I like a Tundra. Yeah, I was definitely tempted to take the Zealous over the Kiki. I don't think Kiki is a great card to start with, but I think Zealous Conscripts is. Um, I think I like mis Miscalculation here. Hmm, interesting. Library is good for draft all the cards. You mean draw? <coughs> he got his own stipulation wrong. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Actually, Mirror Battle Sphere is, is pretty good. It doesn't commit us to a color, and it works well with Coalition Relic. I want to take the Battle Sphere. <clears throat> I do like a Breeding Pool. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I should just take Rakdos Signet. Like, we have no reason to commit to any colors, and Rakdos Signet's also good with Battle Sphere. All right. You know what? This is very colorless right now. Everflowing Chalice. Okay. Okay. You're, you're pulling my leg here. Gilded Lotus. Okay, you're twisting my arm. You're making, giving me all the artifacts. <clears throat> oh, now we have to make a decision. Leave tonight, live and die this way. We need to make a decision. It's a Tracy Chapman song. It's called Fast Car. I don't know if you heard of it. I kind of like Dragon Lord Atarka. I feel like it's easy to cast. We have a Rakdos Saving Coalition. We're like, yeah, I think I think Atarka is actually the pick here, kind of comically enough. Um, maybe that's not comical. I don't really know. <coughs> it's funny because I really like Bloodbraid Elf here because it could hit one of our artifacts, but if it hits Everflowing Chalice, it's it's pretty bad. So, no, I've never heard Fast Car by Tracy Chapman sing it for me. I don't <coughs> I don't believe you. I feel like you're. I feel like you're trying to pull a fast one here. I want to take Night's Whisper. Yeah, we got a... Oh, Scarab God just came back? You people have no respect whatsoever. It's pretty wild. I've never seen... I've never seen an amount of disrespect that's this high. This pack's kind of meh. We already have two, two seven drops. Could be Assassin's Trophy. We could just be Jund splashing for Scarab God. Jund artifacts here. Sure. Why not? <clears throat> this is a weird deck. I mean, I'm okay with the first one, two, three, four, five, five colorless picks. I mean, I think they're fine. Three of them help us cast our other colored cards, so. Eh, I'll just take Yawgmoth here. Casualties of War could be decent. Eh, take Living Death. Nihiri. Alright, this has been interesting. <coughs> yeah, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on here, but... Oh, alright, that's actually a playable land for our deck. Sure. Oh, a mana drain. Well then. I see. 
I believe we're taking that and kind of shifting gears a little bit. Maybe we're salt high splashing for this Dragon Lord's Harka. That seems good. Okie dokie. <laughs> hmm. I mean, it could just be Talarian Academy, which is also great with our our mana drain. Uh, I mean, it's probably one of the better cards in this pack, so I'm just going to take the Talarian Academy here. And now I'm going to take a Bayou, because it goes extremely well with some of the other cards in our deck. And uh, it's a very strange deck that we have here. All right. All right. <coughs> I mean, I'm still taking any of the uh, any of the artifacts we see, like Metalworker, Future Signets, etc., etc. Oh, I like a Baleful Strix. That is also an artifact. Or do we want the Ugin? Ooh, Gin. Hmm. Ugin, huh? Let's sort this. This casualty's been on the end. God, but Baleful Strix. It's an artifact. It goes well with Talarian Academy. <sighs> You're right. I can't I can't argue with you. Baleful Strix might also come back. Oh, Badlands? Yes, please. Yes, please. If if any of these fetch lands, like these are nice because we have Bayou and Badlands. So if we get any fetch land that can that can search for a black. <clears throat> it's very, very good. I kind of like Thief here. Marari? Like, we only have, like, we have, like, three instants and sorceries. We can't even get back with that thing. I'm just taking Thief of Sanity here. Oh, Golgari Signet! Oh, yeah, that's the haps. That's what we're talking about. Also, if Thra Thragtus, Crassus, or Renin Six come back, that's probably fine. Metal Worker! <clears throat> All right, I have this deck is. I'm glad we picked the Eugene now. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven artifacts so far. <clears throat> Overgrown tomb. Sure, glad that came back. Uh, damnation actually seems pretty decent for us. We don't have a ton of creatures yet. Well, I don't like Plateau. That's unfortunate. Sylvan Carry added could be fine. Yeah, I'll take a Sylvan Carry added. Oh, the Baleful Strix came back. If I'm telling you, if people aren't in blue-black, they're just not going to take Baleful Strix. Which, I mean, let's be honest, that makes total sense. <laughs> That's a reasonable thing to do, but... You know. It's better for us when we're trying to take the blue-black cards. Okay, this deck looks really sweet so far. Cultivate? Okay. Oh, what up, putrid pimp? <clears throat> okay, so... Oh, Mana Crypt, huh? Okay, well, that seems good. What didn't come back that we were expecting to come back last pack? I thought something was going to come back, but it didn't. Anyway, we're taking Mana Crypt here. Golos is great, but I'm not pa I'm not passing a, a Mana Crypt to take a Golos. Especially when we have, like, Double Signet, Coalition Relic, Gilded Lotus. Oh, what up, Mike? <clears throat> oh, Primeval Titan, though? That's a card I might take. <laughs> Solid correction, Brett. Solid correction. I think Primeval Titan. No, this isn't the best Emrakul. I think, yeah, but thing is, Emrakul is not ungenerate. Emrakul is a she, I believe. I'm going to take Primeval Titan.
What are you yelling at me over the YouTubes for? Gruel signet? And this is good, right? Like, we have all three Jun signets. We don't have any blue signets yet, but we're probably going to run a bunch of islands. I was really, I saw this colorless card and I was like, oh, please be a big fat idiot, but it was not. I'm going to take bribery. This deck's looking sweet. If this Taiga comes back, I'm going to be really grateful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine artifacts. Stomping Ground is fine. That's basically a Taiga. I also like Thieving Skydiver a lot. Hmm. The thing is, we only have one red card so far, and we already have Badlands, Rakdos Signet, Gruel Signet, and maybe Cultivate. <sighs> I think it's Skydiver. Are we an Upheaval deck? God, maybe we are. Are we a Leovold deck? Oh, man. Maybe we are. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, my God. Notice I put this guy in the three because I never want to cast it for two. I think we're just taking Upheaval. Nothing really great for us here. I guess we can just take Finale. I don't think that's really... <clears throat> white card, white card. Unplayable, not for us. Fine, but not really. Like, we can only get Battle Sphere with it. I'll take this in case we the Blightsteel comes back. <clears throat> I think Maelstrom Pulse is probably pretty solid here. I Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. Um... No fetch lands. That's unfortunate. No fetch lands for, for black. Porcelain Legionnaire is actually okay. We also don't have any double black cards except for casualties, which is kind of nice. Balance is good. We have literal zero ways to cast a white card other than Coalition Relic and Gilded Lotus, so I'm not really super interested in taking a white card here. Thank you. Static suicide, 69 months. <laughs> nice. The Blightsteel Colossus came back. Okay. I will take it. <clears throat> the Taiga came back. I will take it. The Stomping Ground came back. Okie dokie. Wow, that's so that's pretty good fixing then for this this one red card. <laughs> yeah! Oh baby. Oh baby. <laughs> oh wow. 14th pick Leovold. Sounds good. We have one blue fixing land. It's called Telerian Academy. No, I'm pretty sure we're just relying on islands. We're gonna play all these lands. And then nine islands, I bet. So, that's pretty good. Like, we have so much fixing in other colors. Like, if we if we go two islands into Golgari Signet, it's good. Two islands. Like, none of, our, none of our cards are double anything except for Primeval Titan and Casualties of War. So, like, we need one black, one black, one black, one green, one black, one black, green. Like, all these cards require one of their individual colors, so it's not a huge deal. This is, like, the hardest card to cast in our deck, I think. We'll probably board it in. We already have Maelstrom Pulse. Not going to take out Primeval Titan. We need one other cut. I, I'm real tempted to just play the Blightsteel. But I also think we want Kaldoth the Forge Master if we do that. I think this deck looks really sweet. What do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 total artifacts in the deck. That's a good amount. Hmm. I think without Cold Out the Forge Master, we can cut Light Steel Colossus. Oh, uh, I think I think upheaval is extremely main deckable here. 
Like we have so much ramp right now to to take advantage of. Of like this is this is an upheaval deck for sure. Like, do you need metal worker? I mean, yeah, it ramps out all three of these things plus upheaval. Like, yeah, metal worker is fantastic in this deck. Playing library too. So how many green sources is this? One, two, three, four, five. Plus six, seven. I'm going to add one. <coughs> Do not need a red source. Black, we have one, two, three, four. Five. And this is what? Eight, nine, ten. Not much card draw. I mean, we have Knight's Whisper. We have Baleful Strix draws as a card. Leovold draws as cards whenever they target us. Bribery is card advantage. Thief of Sanity is card advantage. Like, we are not, we don't have a card draw, but I mean, like, we definitely have card advantage in the deck. I think this is good. One. This is eight sources of blue. Uh, I think that's just fine. Plus, we're playing Mana Crypt as a, <clears throat> as a spell rather than a land. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. So like, yeah. So if we if we get flooded and draw too many mana sources, it's it's harder to dig our way out. I I can I can appreciate that. Wait, people still play MTG? What does that even mean? You've been here for eight minutes now. <clears throat> God, I love I love opening on a library on the draw. Keep. Oh, the weather outside is weather. I think there's been a lot of contention around library. Yeah, like some people think it's great. Some people think it's just not worth it. And you set yourself back. But I also think that like, I think there's definitely, Vintage Cube is polarizing enough that like there are matches where you're definitely going to set yourself back. Like this might be a bad match to play a library and start taking advantage of it without putting things on the board. Because if they play like a Thalia here, we might be in trouble. If they do nothing here, but, but level up. It's actually pretty good we have a skydiver <clears throat> i'm likely just gonna play signet here so next turn we can play skydiver and steal their their big smugs <clears throat> i guess we can do that anyway but you will eat it hard if they play thalia wow what a little what a little bitch You'll eat it hard. Got him. Oh, the weather outside. This is also a position where, like, we're going to go to eight cards. We can play our land, draw a card, then play Thieving Skydiver, so... <clears throat> I love the thanks for the soul ring play. I, man, stealing a soul ring with Skydiver is just chef's kiss. Soul rings. Oh, do I steal that instead? No, because I won't have the mana. Oh no, I actually can't. I have the. I have to have four for this. So never mind. I don't get to the library next turn. I just totally made that up. Mm-hmm.
There's a lot of things. It's a lot of, a lot of things here. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna need four in order to steal a skydiver. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to go land. What if I accidentally hit draw a card there? That'd be really sad. Two, three, four. <clears throat> That's pretty good. We still get to draw a card, then library. Keep up mana drain. Play signet. As long as we don't die, we're okay. We can also block the student if they want to flip Kithian. Because they can't both make it indestructible and pump student up to a 2-6. And obviously if they pump it up to a 2-6, we're going to block Kithian instead. So these are our plans. Not dying is good for winning MTGO game MTG games. That's fair. It's a good it's a good point you're making. I agree with you, obviously. Two six, what two six are the levels? What are you saying right now? <clears throat> My point is if they want to pump this up, it's gonna have first strike, so I'm not gonna block it. <clears throat> if they if they level this guy up, I'm not blocking because then it's three three first striker. That's that's the point I'm making. So this guy does flip, but we did get rid of a student of warfare for basically nothing yep there's a lot of mana we got here um draw a card ooh bobby buttery biscuits what can we do here lots of things I assume one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, they have lethal, like, if we don't have a blocker, which we do. I don't know why they have lethal being relevant. Is We also have smuggler's copter, so I'm not sure what the what that's supposed to mean. Yeah, we're just going to cast this. It's risky, but... Um, obviously playing a land that doesn't damage us. That would have been a better land to play. I, I probably should have waited. Boof. Well, we have a million mana next turn, so. And we have mana drain if they try any shenanigans, so. I mean, surviving this turn and top taking a Dragon Lord of Tarka would be really the best thing we could ask for. Upheaval would be great too. What do we got? One, two, three, four, 
Five, six, seven, eight. We float two. I'd probably just play Academy first, to be honest, because even though we wouldn't get to replay a land, we would get four extra mana, five extra mana, four extra mana, a million extra mana. <coughs> a Tarka would be great. Upheaval would be great. Yeah, we can also just drop Chalice. Uh, see, this is rough. Because if they activate Gideon, we block the Gideon. We take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we're dead to our own. Yeah, I'm actually going to mana drain this. If they activate Gideon, it's like four extra points on board. <clears throat> which is pretty bad. Oh, it's also lethal. If they, like <clears throat> We block here, we take 4, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so it's actually lethal. I would love to do another stip, sure. I got a couple in the queue, but I'm trying to get I'll I'll definitely get through them all if I if I have the chance. <clears throat> okay. So four, five, six, seven, eight, we're gonna go to two. We're actually I mean we're dead to our own mana crypt flip. tempted to block Brimaz here. I think that's probably like we save if we block here we take we take 7 if we block Brimaz we take 8 instead. And if we activate Copter we just don't draw we don't we don't kill it so we're going to block here. <clears throat> All right. We could just die to our own mana crypt here. Tails never fails. And we died. <laughs> would have drawn Metalworker. If we if we Knights Whisper, we would have drawn Upheaval. Uh, so not terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm actually going to take out Chalice and put in Sylvan Carry added here. And we're going to bring in Damnation. See, something, something he added is a little weird with Damnation. We'll bring in Cultivate instead. Probably going to take out Bribery. I don't think their deck is great for Bribery. <clears throat> this seems good big fan mm, okay oof What is this one, two, three, four, five? <clears throat> if we draw a blue, if we draw a green source, it's actually a damnation next turn, or a primeval titan rather. And now we also have damnation mana. <clears throat> it's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. We're also one mana away from. So if we hit a green, we can primeval titan. If we hit a blue, we can. Oh, we don't need a blue. We got baleful strix. Tails never fails. It didn't fail. Um, hmm. 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 I like cultivating Baleful Strix here. We don't. We're not going to hit seven. This will replace itself. This will replace itself. So we use green. Actually, do I need all this mana? I don't think I need this mana. I need five total. One, two, three, four, and then the... <clears throat> I guess we'll Baleful Strix first.
We don't have a second green, so we can't Titan. I don't want a Damnation, we can't Battle Sphere. So these two are our plays. We're going to get a second black. We're going to get a second green and a second black, I believe. We already have two black. Well, shit. Second blue? Yeah, second blue. So blue green. Um, to cultivate forest island forest into play we're going to play an island anyway so this keeps them from knowing that we actually have an island in hand Ooh, it's getting it's getting spicy in here one two three three four five six seven eight nine we have ten mana next turn yeah that's fine this is a turn, boys. I mean, they have Jitte, but we can just block with the Baleful Strix. It's fine. Because they're also spending two mana to equip it, so that means they're probably not putting a great threat on the board this turn. If there's no place to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we could just play seven, then Battle Sphere, then Telerian Academy. That would be kind of cool. Tails? Oh, it never fails. Except for when it does, but when it doesn't, it never fails. Okay, well, this is actually a hell of a turn. Hold on. <clears throat> does that change anything? One, two, three. We get to play Relic. We get to play... Talarian Academy. Make it four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Do I just want Primeval Titan here? I feel like I think I think Primeval Titan might be a little better than Battle Sphere here. So if we play Academy, we can make three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can actually go Talarian Academy, Damnation into Titan. Green, green, black. No, we can't. We do not have double black and double green at the same time. We're going to need Relic for that one, boys. Alright, let's get Bl Blooming Marsh, because I don't want to hit that, and we'll get a another Black Source. Mm, stomping Ground seems fine. Not Black Source, but we got Blooming Marsh, I forgot, so it's fine. <clears throat> Not really interested in attacking here. Like, we could have also Damnation there and got rid of two creatures, but I didn't think that was worth it, because we can't put anything on the board. And right now, we really have no incentive to Damnation, so... Someone is having a time outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Skull Clamp. That's a good one. I mean, we're also going to get to attack with Titan here. <clears throat> Tails? <sighs> Tails failed. Oh, boy. I didn't even put a counter on the Coalition Relic. That's how far ahead we are right now. See, now I'm attacking with both because we're going to be able to put a mere battle sphere onto the, onto the battlefield. Do I even want another island? Probably, because I want to be able to tap two islands for a mana drain. <clears throat> yeah, I think Battle Sphere with mana drain backup is probably going to be the game. I'm no expert, but... Well, we have mana drain, so I don't know how they're going to wipe the board with only four mana. 
One, two, three. Actually, how much is Battle How much is <clears throat> Talarian Academy making? It doesn't matter because we're keeping it up for Mana Drain. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I wonder if Whisperwood's actually just better than Damnation. Like, I feel like our creatures are such such better value on the board that, like, I'd rather just play another better creature. <clears throat> like, I think Whisperwood does a better thing for us than Damnation does against them, if that makes sense. Cultivate was actually pretty good there. I'm, I was actually glad about that. Also, Porcelain Legionnaire is an option, too. Blocks most of the things. Alright, we'll bring in Legionnaire. We're also going to bring in Whisperwood. What are we going to find? Actually, Upheaval doesn't seem great against them. We'll just bring in Whisperwood for Upheaval. You know what? This seems pretty okay. I am going to play towards Mana Drain here. This is one of our least impressive hands, and I still think it's fine. So, we still have Assassin's Trophy. We have Legionnaire on turn two. Oh, is it? Oh, look who it is. It's Moochel B. Do, do, do. Oh, no, one drop is nice. Signet is nice? Okay. I might just wait to play Legionnaire if they don't play anything. <clears throat> Thalia? Well, I guess we're definitely playing our boy now. Because we can't play a Siggy. <clears throat> For the first time every day when I start talking, like this is the first time I really have any any vocal interaction. My, my throat is always super scratchy. Geist of Saint Draft. <clears throat> More like Banger Saint Draft. What? Uh -huh. <laughs> Don't kill my porcelain legionnaire, else we're going to be in a bad time. <clears throat> or play a three mana artifact. I'll play a skydiver and take it. I see. Okie dokie. I guess we'll go to 10. That's actually pretty good. Even if it just makes two. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I mean, like, we can, if we survive till next turn, we can definitely Rakdos uh, Ugin. Rakdos Ugin? You guys know what I'm saying. Play this. So now this makes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're definitely going to Ugin next turn. <clears throat> Keep up old Assassin's Trophy. Thank you. Dylan Mace with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for all the gifted subs as well. Um, so we go to 10. Huh. 
So th- no, we go to we go to thirteen rather. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we get rid of the Thalia here. And then it lets us play Ugin, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would be eight. <clears throat> sure. And we can play, and, and we also play around like Mana Tide as well, so that's fine. Uh, one, two, three. Get this thing out of here. Let's see if it works. <coughs> I mean, ideally, they play like a two drop or a one drop, and then we just get to kill everything for, for the sake of Eugene. Eugene, Eugene. Oh, come on. No, don't like that. Goodbye. <clears throat> so now they can either hit Eugene. If they hit Eugene, it's great for us because we can Thieving Skydiver it. And then we can also Lightning Bolt their face. We're drawing Porcelain Legionnaire, which is a terrible draw when we're at four, unfortunately. Okay, selfless Sparatu. So we can go steal, shoot. I like it. <clears throat> Hoping they don't have anything else. Oh, they're going face. Hmm, okay. We're going to one life. <clears throat> they chose not to loot. They said, no, I won't loot today. Porcelain Legionnaire. Actual blank. Um, can I just negative two here? This is so much better for us. So we're going to go... One, two... Three... Four... Oh, we're actually going to... Let's negative two first, so we're not... Indestructible doesn't do it, and... Yep, double indestructible doesn't do it. Exile all the twos. <clears throat> Seems good for us, I guess. Cast with kicker. One, two, three, four. It's your boy! Alright. Being able to act at... Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we're just playing Thief, shooting their face, and keeping up... Uh, Who boy. One, two... Three, thiefy boy. Because now we have three blockers. Two blockers. If they kill any blocker, we just use that blocker to... Uh... And Brimaz is a great hit there. Jeez, we're very close to dead right now. I don't like it. <sighs> okay, that's fine. They might just make an emblem. <clears throat> I mean, negative four on Ugin seems very, very good here, though.
They're tapped out, so we're very much alive here. We easily get to double block this guy. Smuggler's Copter on the token. Pitching either of these is just fine. <clears throat> okay okay how are we double blocking anchoring we're not we're single blocking the token and then throwing this guy away by double block i mean block both brimaz and the token This is actually pretty sweet because it lets us uh, it lets us loot. Whereas I didn't think we were going to be able to loot here. <clears throat> yeah, Twitch literally just posted we are investigating issues with the site not loading correctly. Thank you for your patience. So, uh, crew with the thief because we don't want to block with that guy. Block your token and chump with skydiver. Unfortunately. Yes. Oh! Get rid of the Legionnaire. We're never going to be able to cast that guy. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. Can we do it all? So I think we actually attack, shoot, and then just play battle. This is insane. Um... Oh, but I actually kind of want to go to their face with this guy. Hmm. Hmm. Do I really? No, I don't think we need anything this turn. Attack Gideon. Like, we can take off one turn if it means surviving. So this is going to be, what, four, five, six? Yeah, this is more than enough. Especially with Battle Spear and Hand never playing that. Uh, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, we actually overpaid. All right. <laughs> Your move. <clears throat> I'm not actually sure what they could have that can get past this, but I, I don't want to rule anything out. Do you have Hollowed Fountain? So, that, you know, it's possible to... Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Honor of the Pure is a good one. I mean, we easily block here. Smuggler's Copter that blocks the token, and then we can easily block this. So, I mean, like, we have we have our bases covered here. Well, if they're casting Ghostfire without red mana, I would be very impressed. <clears throat> okay, that's probably not going to do anything. So they can be... F this is 5, 6, 7, 8. They could actually double block the Battle Sphere. Which means we probably should have shot this first. That would have been so smart of us. Still getting in there for five and shooting their token. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, psionic Blast is an option. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to target myself here. Oops. Oh, beautiful. 
We're having a good time. We're having a good time. Kill this thing. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. So we're one mana shy of being able to play Dragon Lord and keep up mana drain, which is super funny. Like, like, we can tap this and then red-green, but then we only have one blue. And I think it's just more important to keep a manager in, to be honest. Oh, boy. <coughs> Tithe taker? Okay. You got it. Okay, that's the end. That man had a family. Oh my god, I was like, maybe they just attack with Brumaz on the off chance I don't block. Spoiler. I will block. Okie dokie. Well. Oh, we had a good run. Good games. <clears throat> Our deck is kind of sweet. Uh, da, da, ring, 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 ring. I don't think we need Chalice. I actually think Chalice is worse because we do have three Signets. I think it's probably just better to put in Cultivate. Or just something like Whisperwood. We'll see if that works. If that works a little better. Thief of Sanity hitting Ancestral Recall is literally all you want to do in this cube. <clears throat> You're kind of sweet. Got him. Jesus. Someone send an ambulance to JTHD's house. Maybe send the coroner. Because that dude is dead. <clears throat> Yeah, any any stipulations you guys also want to do, I'll, I'll try to make sure to get to them before this cube ends, and also uh, they will definitely help me out towards this month's donation goal. Obviously, subscribing and following also helps. It's a great way to support an up-and-coming streamer that's been only making magic content for about a decade, so be sure to slam those buttons. I'll keep this hand. This hand seems great. Second turn Baleful Strix and the third turn Relic. Potentially stealing their stupid mocks. Do 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 deal. <clears throat> yeah, someone call the Hambulance or the Wambulance, if you will, if you're a, a Joe Dirte fan. Ooh, a metal worker. A metal worker. No, oh, I don't like that. Hmm. I think it's actually Metalworker. It nets two next turn. If we hit any artifact, it nets more. So this is what? One, two, three mana, four mana, five. If we hit any if we hit any artifact off the top, Metalworker is just It's just uh it lets us play Ugin. Which could be very good. Do you guys know about Ugin? He's very good. <coughs> With Coalition Relic in hand, both of these are actually netting two mana next turn. We don't have any color issues, so what we're really concerned with is quantity, not... Pull up your pants, we need an ambulance. Is that... Is that a saying? Is that what you guys say? <clears throat> you guys should also go check out my article... That went up today at CoolStuffInkPrimevilTitan.com. <clears throat> what? Primal Command? Buddy. That's probably the rudest thing you could have done. Oh, big old gargles. This 
So do we play Relic here or not? That's the question. Hmm. Blue and white are also Christmas colors? I did not. I actually... I never, I never knew that. God. So Relic here is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. We still have to hit one artifact either way, right? But this gets on the board. So I think it's actually better to play Relic here. Because <clears throat> this is netting us the same amount of mana with Metalworker. Because the Metalworker is already in play. If that makes sense to you guys. You're talking to a guy all wrong. It's the wrong tone. You do it again, I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. <clears throat> Alright, eight mana. Are they just going to use a sweep? Thank you! Okay, that's fine. Jiggity Jaws, you're the best. Hope you don't get plowed. Buddy, me too. Every day, I'm like, please don't plow me. They're going to wreck sage us, though. It's gonna be it's gonna be ridiculous. Oh, that's fine. No one cares about that stupid snake. Come on, one artifact. You did me so dirty, Magic. You did me so dirty. Oh, I hate you. You're not even my real dad. So we got three, four, five, six. Dirtiest. Oh, oh, I can still flip it. I can still flip it. I can still flip it. Don't get the trigger, but you mean you don't get the enter this battlefield trigger. I can still go beginning of combat flip that bad boy. <laughs> Everybody look left. They're going to get a bayou. Or just a forest. They did get a bayou. I'm so smart. God, you guys don't give me enough credit. <clears throat> I think it's a Wham Burger <clears throat> and some French fries. Man, we got the... You guys really have the... Uh... Oh, now they're going to refill us and Crater Hoof us? That's cool. We had a good run. All we had to do was have them not have Crater Hoof in their hand, but they, they always do, so... You just kind of have to deal with it, you know? Yep. Always fun. What is this? 11, 21, 28, and we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we actually survive, comically. <clears throat> as long as we put everything we own in front, we are good to go. Good to go. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is what? 10? 20? This is 28, and we have nine power to block. So we're going to block here. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> oh, we actually have to put one. Four, five, six. We actually have to put one in front of Crater Hoof, unfortunately. So all our guys are going to die. It's not good. So what are we taking? We're taking six from this, three from this, and ten from this. Cool. Actually, so here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's nothing we can actually... If we draw, like, Mana Crypt... I, God, we're one mana shy. But that is literally what we have to do here. Hold on. Put you there. It works the same way, right? Is it worth revealing prime time? I mean, we're dead if we if we. What do you, I don't know what you mean. Like, we're dead if we don't block with literally everything, so we don't really have a choice. 
Yeah, I mean, like, so they can see it. Yeah, I don't. What do I care if I don't care if the mono green deck sees a prime time? <clears throat> like, we're literally not dead. So, also, Battle Sphere is another really good draw. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not. That's not what I was looking for, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Next card, Golgari Signet. Okay. Okay. Let's bring in Damnation here. <clears throat> I'm going to bring in one more. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to bring in one more Black Source. Uh, we didn't kill Gargaroth because one of our outs was Mana Crypt into... Uh, Ugin, and then Ugin cannot kill Crater Hoof, so we're dead on board. So we play Ugin and negative six, and we are getting negative five, and we still get to kill the Gargaroth. I, I think Damnation is just better than Living Death, and, and I don't think Living Death is great after we Damnation, so I really don't want both. Also, I don't know if Upheaval is any good. Do kind of like cultivate. <clears throat> I'm running cultivate for skydiver. I don't. I don't feel like skydiver has a ton of targets in the in the mono green deck. I will play first. <clears throat> I like this. Well, yeah, but if they're flooding the board pretty quickly, then I'd rather just have damnation. You know what I mean? Like it's just one, it's a one mana cheaper without the threat of them getting because they're the odds of them having a bunch of creatures in their graveyard is is higher than us having creatures in our graveyard, especially because we have like early removal, like Assassin's Trophy or Mana Drain. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, so we still need to hit another land here, but there's no way we could avoid a turn one strip mine, so... I'd rather them hit the, hit our... Oh, nice. <clears throat> so next time we can still cultivate, which is fantastic. We can get a second blue and probably a red source, because we have two black now. Actually, actually, I'd rather have a second green. The only second blue card is Mana Drain. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> that's that's actually just worse than cultivating here. We want to hit a land drop now. Um, we're getting a second. Oh, we, hit, we don't actually have a red source. That's unfortunate. Green and blue, it is. All right. I mean, assuming they don't acidic slime, we can whisper it elemental next turn, which is pretty nice. That guy's good. We're probably just going to Assassin's Trophy that guy. <laughs> I mean, netting four mana is pretty good. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now I think what we're going to do is we're going to let them play whatever they want. We're going to play Metalworker. We're going to let them play whatever they want to play. And then we're going to mana drain it. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Excellent. I mean, they have to be super suspicious, right? Yeah, I mean, like, this is this is not the best they could do, but I'm still going to manage in it, so. Four mana is still four mana next turn. Sure. If we draw a red source, we can target here, which is pretty insane. It's not a red source, but that's okay. So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seven. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> Do we want to kill the Rafellos, though? I mean, probably. Six, seven. Battle sphere one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Like, is the difference between eight mana and, f and one, two, three, four, six mana? And if they play a forest, it's the difference between four, ten mana, and seven mana. So, four and six, ten and seven, kind of a big deal. I also just kind of like dropping a Whisperwood. And, like, I'm not scared of Craterhoof this turn. I think we're actually just going to play Whisperwood here. That's true. They can still play Force of Nature either way. It's going to be a red source, I bet. Oh, Damnation. I mean, we're not in a situation where we want a Damnation anyway, so... Okay. I mean, Atarka is pretty good here, right? Kill the four squirrels and kill the Rafellos if they don't pay for this guy. Actually, <laughs> kill the Rafellos, the devoted druid. You got it. I guess we can't kill the Rafellos now unless we assassins trophy him. Where's my red sources at? Can someone help? <coughs> okay, so we have Assassin's Trophy. We can easily kill the Deranged Hermit. One, two. Although, if they have Crater Hoof here, it's very, very bad. And that's what I'm worried about. Yep, I think they're just going to kill us now because they've, they've gotten to... Oh, actually, I guess the Deranged... No, they're just... Yeah, all right. Yeah, this is no good. Fuck. <sighs> Crater is a card that's like almost too good. I just really don't like it. Jesus. <sighs> I'm really regretting the Badlands play, but also if we if we did a blue instead of a, a red, we wouldn't have a second blue, so we wouldn't be able to manage rain, so... I'm pretty sure they're just going to block with the range tournament. Take four. Untap with this guy. Add three. Add three. I just don't think it makes a difference if we... Yeah, like, even if we keep these guys back, I don't think it matters. Declare attacks... One, 
Yeah, I think this is just a match we're just going to lose to Crater Hoof two, two games in a row. So. Like, I think our best chance is to just get rid of this. Actually, that doesn't even do anything, right? Because then they still get a forest and they get to... They, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Fuck. Literal next card is a red card. Well, we could not kill Rafelos at the time. We didn't have mana up. So. Yep, fucking amazing. Never never don't have it. Congratulations. <laughs> you, drew, you drew the one card two games in a row. Man, I was really looking for a uh, looking forward to a three zero because I think this deck is sweet. But I mean, I, I guess I yeah I could have I could have killed the Rafelos instead of putting uh, pressure on the board and assume they have this one card in hand in their whole deck. But I don't know. It seems better to me to actually get a mere battle sphere on the board and give them one turn. Oh, Polish, no worries, no worries. Um, yeah, so Twitch is known for people in chat, like, backseat playing, basically, and telling you, like, the mistakes turns after you've done it. So if you're literally just trying to, like, figure out why I did what I did or, like, uh, figure out what the better play was, like, I totally understand, and that's super, that's super fine. This hand seems fun. Can we draw a mana crypt so that we can go turn one relic? That would be sweet. Right, 90% of comments are trolling. They're like, well, you could have played this instead, stupid. So, like, that's, I get, like, a little defensive immediately, but it's definitely, uh, totally fine if you're being genuine and, like, you mean it in, in earnest. Crucible of Worlds on turn one. Interesting. Are they going to strip minus? It's actually not bad. I guess you can discard lands with Bazaar, so that's actually pretty decent. Okay, okay. Um, well, nothing super exciting here. We have a lot of two drops. It's unfortunate we didn't draw any. I guess we're dead now. All right. Another solid skillful game from the vintage cube unfortunately that's what we're here for so let's see the, the reanimate or the exhume or the animate dead it's gonna be or what wait what um Yeah, the two cards we, we manifested were literally Damnation 
which would have been great against them, and Taiga, which would have also been great against them. So it's it's very funny that like. Uh, Is it still okay to be a big fan? I guess. Well, I'm, I'm surprised I'm not dead here. Unless. I've been here for two mana. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Right, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm playing around. I want to play around Hoof, but not so much as, like, not to the point where, like, I, I don't do anything. Yep, that's good. That's good. That is a good one. Yep. All right. Yep. All right. It's all coming together. Library. Shut up and take my money. Library. Wallet inspector. Hello, everyone. Once. Hello, everyone. One. Just stopping by to check everyone's wallet. Please turn them in for inspection. Well, you guys heard the man. <laughs> not the wallet inspector what oh boy am I getting doppelganged probably get that swamp into really three three mountains huh do they have kiki jiki they're trying to kiki jiki us shatter skull for one I don't understand. Thanks, <laughs> uh, You done messed up, A.A. Ron! A blooming marsh, more like a turd sandwich. Here's my con. Unforgiven. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Bid it up. A Badlands. It's always the red source, isn't it? It's always the red source. Oh, that's pretty sweet. You actually play this as a spell, then play it from your graveyard as a land. That's actually super awesome. I'm a fan. I think we're just prime timing here because next turn one two three four five six seven eight we could draw a land and have enough for scarab god um talarian academy doesn't do anything right now let's get stomping ground taiga seems fine man this one ashen rider is really keeping us at bay here What's it going to be? Maelstrom Pulse. Ugh, biscuits. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Well, you can get the best four mana card in your deck. That's a yikes for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If this Blooming Marsh was any other land, we could just play it. Scarab God. Get back Grave Titan. Well, they have another Swamp in the Graveyard, so they can easily just play that. Which they did. I also have no idea what they got here, so... Oh, a little birdie. A little birdie. A scootin' doo doo. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also Ugin. So 
So we attack with everybody, right? If they block here, they take 10, 11, 12, they take 14. I think that's fine. And we get two more lands. Sure. Uh, let's get Island Bayou. How bizarre. How bizarre. Bing, ding, ding, ding. Do they have makeshift mannequin here? And they're going to get back Emrakul? <sighs> that would be wild. Ulamog! It's better than Emrakul. For us. How do I target this guy? Can I target this guy with something? I can Ugin. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I can Ugin and shoot the Ulamog. That's actually fantastic. Let's do that. Yep. And you're going to eat the primeval titan. Any order. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Shoot your little buddy. Leaving Skydiver. That would have been great. A demonic tutor again? Oh my god. Okay, so here we go again. Oh my god, are they doing it again? This doesn't do anything though, because it doesn't get haste. Oh, they could have Shallow Grave or Corpse. Actually, that still doesn't do much. We get to block and we get to just sack four perms. That's actually not terrible for us. Didn't Mannequin star Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, Corpse Dance. Okay, sure. Are you sure one of them didn't start Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, it was McCarthy. You're right. Andrew McCarthy. What about Mannequin 2? That didn't either. Yeah, okay. Uh, sack four perms. Sure. Um, so we're going to actually sack the lot, the this guy because then we can get oh they shuffle they're going to they're going to shuffle their thing away so they don't have a graveyard anymore. Well. Um are they attacking me? Ugin is being attacked. So we're definitely blocking. And we're just going to attack 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 I'm just going to sack both of these creatures. And then we're blocking. And we get to keep Ugin and 9 mana, so we can actually just return, like, Primeval Titan. That seems good. I feel like we're in great shape here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Scarab God... Two, three, four, five. Let's play Scrabble God. Shoot your face. And we'll just keep up bail. We'll just keep up uh Bribery! Oh come on. These hits are so bad. Uh if we minus three Ugin this kills something. And then they're just going to exile Ugin. I think Ugin is just better on the board at this point when they're at 7. Like, Let's get prime time back. 1, 2, 3, 4. Mm 
No, I know it gets rid of Necromancy, but then that also gets rid of this guy, which means they exile our Ugin. And I think that's significantly worse. Uh, I will put Leovold on top. Oh, we can just ultimate here? You know what? I ain't, we're, we're not here for... We're here for a, a good time, not a long time. How much mana do we fucking have right now? Holy smokes, dude. What if we upheaval? <laughs> it's, it's terrible, right? It's gotta be terrible. So they block here, they take a million. Yeah, they're just dead here. Unless they have like one super card. Do you have a super card? Oh yeah, because of um because of Leovold when they when they bazaar, it's it's pretty bad for them. I kinda like casualties here. Okay. I do kind of like casualties of war here. My kids are about to break the living room. Catch you later. I've prayed for a mana crypt in your opening. <laughs> Jiggity jaws. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, man. It's <laughs> hilarious. I've been behind on YouTube and I never catch a stream. How is this Cuban tree? Mediocre magic man. How dare you come in here after I haven't seen you for as long as I haven't seen you. And pretend like everything's fine. Unbelievable. I wish I had a way to splash white that was more efficient, but I don't. Thieving Skyder, we saw only Crucible, and I don't think that's good enough. I'm going to bring in Cultivate. Cultivate keeps impressing me. I also kind of like Casualties of War, if I'm being real here. Bribery seems great. Let's take out... Thank you. Got any tips or way to learn cube good? Uh, Haji boy, what up? 32 months. It seems like longer. Um, So my biggest, my biggest tip for cube is literally just, you have to do it more. Like, I don't, it's, it sucks. It's hard to say, but like you're, it's not something you can just read about and be like, I'm going to jump into a cube draft and do really well. You just have to do it more. Like, it's Thank just, it's you. literally a thing where you're like, I have to, like, actually actively practice this. It's like sports, right? Like, if you play, like, you can't Thank just read you. about baseball and then just play baseball and be like, I'm really good at baseball now. Brett, you're friggin' amazing, dude. Brett, you have to be, the, like, the sub-leader this month, right? I'll keep this hand. It's a little iffy, but it's okay. We can do it. Thank you. Man, it Oh, we, were, we went to play Overgrown Tomb. I got Thank so distracted you. by all the Bretts, but that's okay. You know what? That's okay. That's a price I'll pay any day of the week. Oh, Jesus. Every game. Literally two games in a row. I Thank can't get a Manage you. Crypt once. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. 
Making my way downtown, walking fast. Thank you. All right, because Twitch is being... Tw I had to go to Amazon, purchase a gift card. Dude, that's a ridiculous amount of work just to... Thank you. Less good of a game. All right, cool. Well, that must be nice. Okay, Brett, dude, you are friggin' amazing. I appreciate you so much, man. Twitch has been twitching on me. Yeah, there's definitely some Twitch issues. Still a pretty good, pretty good audience here. So thank you guys for hanging out, even though Twitch has been Twitch. I'm gonna mulligan this hand, that has one land in it. <sighs> These hands have been really, really unfortunate. Um, I'm gonna keep it. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just dead here. I think this is stronger than this. All we need is one blue source and we can play Leovold and Thief of Sanity, which I think is good. But, you know, if they get Black Lotus three games in a row followed by Broken Opening, then I guess it's... I mean, nothing's going to stop that. I enter the stream and Frank dies instant to sneak. I feel like I'm a... Cur Yurt, I blame you, buddy. I blame you. Yep, three games in a row. Literally haven't hasn't mulliganed. All right, sounds good. Here we go. I think I have a mana crypt in my deck. I'm not sure, but yep. Sure. Cool. That was fun. Must be nice to have the nuts every game. Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And, thank uh, you. Ben Big Card, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.